In this video, you will learn to write a simple test case using the Atoms in Coor, which is the test design language. First, you need to copy the blank template file from the templates folder. Now paste the test suite Excel file under the newly created directory called Core File and name the file as First Test Case. Now open the test suite file. We will write the test case in this spreadsheet. In the config sheet, we specify the atom location here. The below fields are not required now. In the test case sheet, we will write the test case using atoms. The test case ID is written here. In this field, you write comment. In this field, you mention the description of the test case. So this test case will verify file operations. The property step and action argument columns are not required for this test case. And hence it will be explained in the next video. The first step of the test case would be to create a text file. These are the atoms which are used for this test case. The first step of this test case would be to create a text file. The first atom that we use is createFile.bat. We open this file in the edit mode. This atom creates a file in C drive. And if it succeeds in creating the file, it exits with status 0. And if it fails, it exits with status 1. So we write the create file atom in the action field. Now this atom verify existence.bat would verify whether the file has been created or not. This is the atom which is used to verify. Now we need to insert a row for the next test step. This test step is to copy the text file. And the atom which is used is copy file.bat. This atom will copy the file and paste it to a different location. The last test step is to delete the text file. And this action is done by the delete file.bat atom. So this atom will delete the file from C drive. So this completes a simple test case to verify file operations. These are the description of the test steps used. In this column we have the atoms which are used. And this is the verification atom used for this test case. In the next video we will learn to write more advanced test cases. Thanks for watching this video.